Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we we went off the beaten path and entered a first paralogue, which led us to meeting Donald, our first optional party member. Well, I guess uh, Callum was also an optional party member if you didn't get him. So, hooray for me for getting that he exists. Very fit in, very within tune with his character, I guess. In this episode, we see that there are some merchants here, just uh, standing around. If we shop here. We see this girl instead of the regular old worksmith dude, or blacksmith, whatever it's called. So we could buy some things from her. We got Iron Axe Beast Killer uh, and an Iron Bow. Let's see. Probably for Viron. Uh, he already has an Iron Bow. Got an Axe. Could we give that to Vake, uh, wherever he is? Uh, he can't even use the Beast Killer, though, so maybe not... Uh, he has an iron axe, so we don't need that. Who uses the beast killer, though? Actually, I think that's uh, kind of the type of staff, so we'd give that to Frederick. Yeah, oh, but it's weaker than his current thing, so... That's Sully. Beast killer's better for her, so we're gonna give that to her, definitely. Uh, let's see, I got her, uh, buying a slogan is for me, hot darn. Uh, I wanna see beast killer. Can you give me, like, the description of it, maybe? Uh, you can't until you actually buy it, which is kinda lame. Uh, effective against beasts and riders. I guess that's the effect. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll buy that and give it to her. Uh, you only, there's literally only one of each thing on the screen, so you can't just buy a bunch of fires, a bunch of thunders. You gotta keep track of it. I guess we should uh, get Robin another thunder, even though she's not in any real danger of running out of thunder. I just sort of... Eh, we might run something more powerful on the way, so maybe not, because she's got so much uh, juice left in that tome. Uh, we do have one other sword for Chrome the Rapier. I haven't been using that, but I guess we should use it later on. I think it, it's better at critical hits or something like that. So we might want to check it out. Uh, I think that's it for now, though. Thank you for your patronage. Uh, let's try and sell some things, actually. Do we have anything that we would want to sell? Uh, the Convoy, by the way. In case your uh, inventory is getting a bit cluttered, you don't want to keep like going through every single character to remember every single thing you own, you could actually just put it into the convoy and it'll uh, store things for you. So that's a bit easier method of uh, keeping track of your items and whatnot. Uh, I think that's it for now. We could sell a door key maybe. Sell for 150G, why not? A chest key for Robin, we could sell that. Uh, sometimes it benefits you to go into a place with a chest key, I guess. Eh, not too terrible to just keep it with you. Forge, I think we're good for now. We're gonna exit the shop. And she disappears. Okay. One one opportunity to do that. Got an iron bow right there. Hammering. Do we want that for Lissa? Inventory. She does not have hammering. Yeah, we'll check it out. Take your time. Got Lissa right here, who is going. She cannot even equip hammering. Repair synergy and Ellie's equipment, okay. Uh, I guess that's it. I don't really want any of these other things. She does have heal. Uh, this has 19. This one has 30. Eh, we should probably buy it. Okay. Uh, that's about it, though. I think we're good for Lissa for now. Uh, she didn't have enough room in her inventory, so it's in the convoy, presumably. Yeah, it's okay. This one's in the convoy. We got quite a bit of things in here, actually. Uh, I guess we could sell the reeking box. We oh no, just that's in the convoy. She has stuff in the. I'm so confused. Buy stuff for the convoy. I guess I don't think I know. Whatever. I'm not good at navigating menus. Oh wait, no, she just had multiple. Uh, heal things. So we'll just buy one more for the heck of it. Okay, I'm done here. I'm done confusing the heck out of everyone. And she's gone. Okay. I guess that's it for now, in case there are just any extra cool things along the way. It doesn't look like it. So, we are good to go. Let's head off into Chapter 4, Arena Ferox. Uh, I believe I know what lies in store for this chapter, so I'm really excited to uh, finish this one. Uh, we have another support system, though, for Krom and Robin. So, I might have shown this in the end of the last episode, but I guess... Just me in the here and now. We'll go ahead and show it off right now. Support system rank B. Hey, 
Robin. Robin, are you in here? Robin, hello? I have a question about our next move. Oh. Crom, is that you? Or would you just wait outside for a moment? It'll just be a moment. Hmm? What? Come on in. Gods, why is it so steamy in here? Did someone leave? Ah, oh, there you are. I could barely see a thing through all this blasted steam. Anyway, I wanted to consult with you on tomorrow's march. You see... Huh? Is there any special reason you aren't wearing any clothing? Krom, rather than stand there like a slack-jawed village idiot, perhaps you could wait outside like I asked! But I... you... Oh, gods, I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to. That is to say... Out! Forgive me. Right, absolutely. Straight away. I'll wait outside the tent. <laughs> All right, you. What sort of idiot blunders straight into a woman's bathing tent? Uh, I'm sorry. Very, very sorry. I misheard you. I swear it. I had no intention of peeping. <sighs> Just... Fine. Apology accepted. Now what's so darned important? Mm. Oh, er, I was hoping you could offer some advice on tomorrow's route. Um. Fine. What are your options? <laughs> well, according to this map, one route is this steep trail through the hills. Or we could circle the hills and follow the main road across the plain. I imagine either would be working out, but wanted to see if you had a preference. Well... I'd say the path through the hills. The main road would be easier, but we'd be more exposed if we encountered foes. Mm. Right, that's what I was thinking. Thanks for the advice. And, er, uh, yes. Well, that's it, I guess, so... Yes. Bye! Yeah. Goodbye. And Robin? I'm really sorry about the bath thing. I honestly didn't mean to catch you like that. <sighs> it's fine. Water under the bridge. Let's forget about it and move on. Forgive me. Uh, right, yes. Good idea. So, I'll catch you later? Uh, no, I mean, I'll see you later. Uh, no, I mean, goodbye. <laughs> uh, the Rob female Robin and Crom are definitely some of my favorite support conversations. They're just really stinking funny and... It's even more astounding to see the comparison between the male and female Robin. It's very, very different. That one's a lot more touching and, and uh, emotional. And then this one is just like, derp -a derp -a derp <laughs> It's really singing funny. So now we got to see that. I'm kind of upset we haven't been seeing supports grow for anyone else, though. I know I've been sort of inconsistent with who I pair people up with. I don't really have a specific pairing for anyone yet. So I should start thinking about who I want to... Uh, keep together throughout the majority of the game. So, with that in mind, I guess we'll keep on going. I guess you, uh, a good way to plan is to look through your conversations and see which characters uh, could have conversations with other characters. So, uh, just an example, Ly Lissa can't speak with Sully, so maybe it's not the best idea to pair her up with Sully because she won't be able to grow any uh, closer to her and have any sort of ranking conversations. So it might be a good idea to just uh, look ahead and see who would be a good pair for each character. So Mia has very little options, so definitely want to keep that in mind. Uh, Stall is quite a bit. Sully is good with pretty much everyone, my god. Uh, Fake is pretty okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Guess that's good for now. Uh, we made it to the Coliseum, so we're going to begin this chapter now. Forgive me. Prince Krom, please wait here while I summon the Khan. Good. Of course. The Khan is away? Right. Oh, training, I'd wager. The Khans of Ferox prefer battle to politics. Or rather, battle is their politics. Hmm. A warrior ruler, eh? I can picture him now. A giant of a man of unparalleled thew. His 
broad chest covered in hair. <laughs> Am I now? Please do go on. <laughs> You're the er, that is to say, the Khan, I presume? One of them, at least. The East Con. My name is Flavia. I apologize for the troubles at the border, Prince Krom. You are welcome in Regna Ferox. Thank you. But I'm confident we could put the misunderstanding beside us. Is it true bandits posing as Ulysses have been ransacking the border village? Right. Those Plegian dogs! We found documents proving as much on the corpse of one of their captains. Legia must see some benefit in raising the tensions between your kingdom and ours. Darn them! I... forgive me, your grace. That was... indelicately put. Ha ha ha! Darn them and darn delicacy! Here in Ferox, we appreciate plain speech. In that case, you should have a word with your darn border guards. <laughs> now that's Feroxy diplomacy. Yes, I like you already. I know why you've come, Prince. But regrettably, I cannot provide any Feroxy troops for Ulysses. Huh? Why not? I lack the authority. What? Forgive me, but I don't understand. Aren't you the Khan? As I said, I am one of the Khans. In Ferox, the Khans of East and West hold a tournament every few years. The victor acquires total sovereignty over both kingdoms. And that means they have the final say when it comes to forging alliances. The West Khan won the last tournament, you see, and so... So we are to receive no aid at all. Not if you always give up so easily. The next tournament is nigh, you see, and I am in need of champions. Hmm? What does that have to do with us? Listen. The captain of my border guard informs me your shepherds are quite capable. Perhaps you would consider representing the East in the upcoming tournament. If you win and I become ruling Khan, I will grant your alliance. I would have assumed Ulysses had no place in such Feroxy traditions. <laughs> On the contrary, those Khans themselves do not fight. They choose champions to represent them. Otherwise, our land would be rife with blood feuds and dead Khans. We don't involve comrades or kin for the same reason. Over time, it was decided the tournament should be fought by outsiders. Although the Outsiders have never included foreign royalty that I know of. Ha! Regardless, it is your choice to make. Right. There's no choice, East Khan. My people are desperate. We face not only Plegia's constant attacks, but now the added threat of the Risen. If fighting for you is the quickest way to an alliance, then we will take up our steel. Right. Oh, I like you, Prince Krom. I do hope you survive the tournament. Come, I'll show you the arena where the tournament is held. But be wary, I hear an equally able swordsman champions the West Khan. It's all right. He shall be defeated by Ulysses' necessity. <laughs> well spoken again. I look forward to seeing if you're equally skilled with a blade. Time to prep for battle! Oh god, we could hardly have anyone in this fight. Huh. We got the four main ones and then two options. Jeez, that stinks. I think I'm gonna switch out Vague for Sumia. And that's about it. Uh, Our inventory, I kinda wanna just see what that's like. Anyone have anything they wanna trade over to someone else? Doesn't look like it. Uh, we are good for now, I think. And select units, view the map. I don't really want to look too far into it. I would never really have any good strategies for placement on the board, so I'm just going to go with what we got. Let's go. Look! 
Hmm. I see him. Hey. Marth, one question before we begin. <laughs> Fine then. Our swords can speak for us. Where did you get that? There's no way. Oh, tell me, who taught you to fight like that? Without the enemy, gotta fight an old ally, unfortunately, so it's a bit awkward. Marth is gifted as a swordsman, and his men look capable as well. We should mind our distance. Uh, as we saw in the previous paralogue, I believe, it is possible to plan ahead. You could go ahead and select an enemy and press the A button to view them at and their range of action. You can also press X to toggle the danger area for all those at once. So basically, we just be like, oh, this is dangerous. I shouldn't go to any of these places. But that's a bit extreme. So I would just like go to a single character and see what I should and shouldn't do. We're going to have uh, Robin pair up with Krom. Krom is going to uh, collect this treasure, I guess. A leader must never rest, never surrender, and most of all, never stop learning. Gain 18 experience just for standing right here. That's cool. Lissa pair up with Frederick, and uh, Sumia pair up with Sully. Okay, we got our pairings for this area. Uh, it is possible to, to separate and change your pairings later on if you don't like them, so keep that in mind. Uh, I guess we'll put uh, Sully right here. She ain't afraid of anyone. Okay, that fight's gonna get started. And thankfully no damage. Take him out one hit because Frederick is awesome like that. Kind of weird that this one is just like a for funsies battle. I know it's sort of like required to, uh, it's sort of, that's their way of diplomacy and like politics they decided through battling and the more powerful the group is the one who gets to decide how things go. So I guess it is uh, required all things considered, but it's just weird that people are just watching and cheering us on. Very weird environment to have that happen. You think they wouldn't have such a big crowd when uh, war is going on, so uh, but no, I guess some people have different priorities at times like this. Uh, we got a mage right here, so we could take care of him right now. If we would like to. Very, very nice. Uh, that was something I skipped over. I apologize for that. Uh, we could go for Marth right now. Don't want to do that right now because he'd do crazy damage. Uh, let's do that. Oh, he can move! Great! Let us fight with honor. May the best soldier win. I didn't think he would move. I guess it isn't like a boss, so... Oh, god darn it. I was not expecting him to move like that. God stinking darn it. Sully's gonna die! That's unfortunate. God's darn their eyes! Sorry, Crumb, but I'm out. If this was not casual mode, Sully would be gone for the rest of the game. But thankfully that is not the case, and we'll get her back next chapter. But now Sumi is out in the open, which is really not good. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, a mage, so both of them are going to be able to attack from a distance at least. What? Robin can't do it? I guess when counter-attacking you can't. Uh, at least not right now. Maybe when we're more powerful we could. Oh, Sumi, yeah. Uh, okay, at least you dodged it. It might be smart to separate Krom and Robin, pair him up with Sumia just for protection purposes. Uh, there's a treasure over here. Should I waste my time? I'm going to because I'm dumb. Oh, uh, we got... Hmm, I better pick this up lest someone stumble on it. A shot stick. Okay. 
uh, deals magical damage based on magic. So it's a physical, it's a lance, so you could benefit with the weapon uh, weaknesses and strengths and whatnot, but it does magic damage. It's kind of cool. I'll put that in the convoy for now. Uh, let's see. We're going to put... Could Sumia do anything to anyone without dying a horrible death? Uh, she can actually get rid of him. That's cool. Could do that, I guess. And Krom gets the level up. We're not level up. He gets paired up with her, so... Gonna get that friendship boost. Okay, she's close to a level up, which is nice. Uh, she got a thunder. Cool. So I didn't have to buy one from before. How about we... Switch, trade, Sumia, give Robin the thunder, switch back, no, because we were dedicated to this spot now, so attack with uh, Robin, and we're good to go. Oh, we missed, that's awkward. Uh, at least he missed as well. Okay, cool, took him out. Uh, I'm getting a lot of flashbacks on this game, being like, oh, we're just like praying to have enemies miss over and over. And it becomes very, very frequent, so it's a thing that you have to rely on a lot, and it becomes a thing that you become frustrated with a lot, because your characters just miss for no good reason. It's like, oh, it's an 82% chance or a 98% chance, guess they're gonna miss. Oh boy. Uh, oh god, here comes Marth. I'd be shocked if Sumia survives this. Come on, Robin Defender. Okay, wow, good combo. Sumia gets a level up. Somehow survived that. And, yeah, there, was, there is one more enemy. Lissa protects him. Very, very nice. Frederick, we can have you take out this guy right here because you're Frederick and you're awesome like that. Oh, you got a weapon disadvantage? No worries. Frederick is sinking awesome and amazing. He is one experience away from a level up. That's kind of lame. Sumia could finish off Martha if we like, but... Huh. I think it's more fitting if Krom does it, so... Since they seem to have the same weapon, which is really awkward. Not sure how that's possible, but maybe we'll find out the answer if we defeat him in battle. Hey. Who is your father? My apologies. I've said enough for one day, sir. <laughs> is that how it is? Lissa owes you her life, and for that you have my gratitude. But within these walls, I represent the East Khan and the interests of Ulysses. I cannot promise to stay my blade, but I vow not to shame you. <sighs> Never expected such youthful arrogance. We shall see who shames who. You're all right. I am bested. Impressive, if not surprising. Well fought, you have my respect. And perhaps more to the point, you have your alliance. I will provide Ulysses with the soldiers she needs. <clears throat> Truly? Thank you, East Khan. <laughs> I should thank you. It feels like ages since I've held full power. Come, my new friends. Tonight, we celebrate. Any excuse for a party and Flavia jumps on in. Hmm? I'm sorry, have we met? Yes. I'm the West Con you so rudely removed from power. You were handy with a sword, boy. I thought for sure I'd pick the stronger man. Listen. What do you know about him? Hmm. You mean that Marth? Bah, he's just some sellsword with delusions of grandeur. All I know is he turned up one he even knocked my champion flat. It was love at first sight, and I'm generally too old for such things. Bah! <laughs> anyway, he's gone now. Up and fled the moment the tournament ended. Oh. He's so dark and mysterious. Huh. Huh? Sounds like Marth's got at least one fan. 
Well, I mean, come on. He is sort of dreamy, isn't he? Hey. And you're sort of dreaming. <laughs> yeah, it's lighten up, big brother. I was just kidding. Shall we then? My lord, my lady, if this fascinating discussion is over, we'd best return home. The Exile will want news on our new alliance immediately. Yes. Right as always, Frederick. Hey. Old boy, before you go, I have a little present for you. Oh yeah, long coo! Alright. This is Long Ku, my former champion. Not much for talking, mind you, but he's peerless with a sword. As good as Marth in my mind. To be honest, I can't figure out how Marth bested him so quickly. What? Marth beat him? But he looks so big and strong! Get back. Away, woman. Huh? What did I say? Let's just say that ladies tend to put Long Ku on edge. Nonetheless, he is capable. Perhaps he even has the makings of a con. Consider him West Ferox's contribution to the Leolissan cause. Hmm? You're certain about this? All right. Yes, yes. He's your man now. Listen. And Long Ku, you have no objections? Right. He gives orders. I stab people. I think our rules are clear. Good. All right. Welcome aboard. Remember to take breaks. Well, okay, and I'll take that as my sign to end my recording session for today. And the red on my 3DS is also a good sign that I should end things off. But yeah, we got ourselves a new powerful ally in Lung Ku. He is one of my favorite characters in this game for multiple reasons. And battling is definitely one of them. He is a stinking beast but we will be getting into that in the next episode next time on fire emblem awakening we are going to i guess form our next battle strategy with the east con this is midnight and beyond and i will see you all later good night